Farmer's cheese originated on farms as a way to use extra milk or that left over after skimming the cream for butter. This cheese is a mild, white, fresh cheese that is not pressed or aged with a crumbly texture and subtle flavor. This cheese uses two main ingredients, milk and a form of acid. Today's cheese that we're making will also contain the spices, onion powder, garlic powder, and dill weed. You can choose any spices you'd like. You can use this cheese on crackers, salads, and sandwiches, or just use your imagination. Now, the equipment you'll need, you'll need a potter pan that will hold one gallon or more, and it needs to be a stainless steel or ceramic coated. Do not use aluminum as it will react with the acid and ruin the cheese. You'll need a large non-aluminum spoon, a gallon of whole milk or 2%, fat-free won't work, a half a cup of acids such as vinegar, apple cider vinegar, or lemon juice, a large colander, cheesecloth or a tea towel, not terry cloth, one half cup measuring cup, a thermometer, and ground spices of uh, choice, no salt needed, which is really good for us kidney patients. Pour all the milk into a pot or pan Place over medium heat, heat slowly, stirring frequently to avoid scalding until it reaches 190 degrees. If no thermometer, heat until it just slight boil, all right? then remove from the heat. Now that the milk has reached the temperature of 190 degrees, remove from the heat and add the acid of choice. and stir thoroughly, and then set and allow to set for 15 minutes uncovered. Meanwhile, place cloth in a colander or a sieve, and then pour the curds and the whey through the cloth-covered colander to drain off the whey. If you want to save the whey to use later, pour off into a container. You can use whey in smoothies, baking, gardening, or as animal feed. Now is the time to add your spices and mix thoroughly. Gather the cloth by its four corners and give it a slight twist to help with draining. It's still hot at this time, so let it cool in the colander for at least 15 minutes. When cool to the touch, Squeeze and twist the cheese in the towel until the whey stops dripping out and the cheese is fairly dry. Farmer's cheese is naturally crumbly at this stage, but if you want the cheese to be of a more creamy texture, place in a blender or food processor and process, adding milk or cream one tablespoon at a time until it reaches the consistency you would like. At this uh, time, place the cheese in a container or wrap with saran wrap 
and refrigerate for 30 minutes or more before serving. This cheese will keep in the refrigerator for up to a week or you can freeze for three months. The recipe with instructions will be included in the descriptions below. And as always, as a kidney patient or dialysis patient, you should always check with your dietitian before you add something like this to your diet. Thank you for everybody for watching.